Hey guys, welcome to our channel Coders Arcade. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about how we can input any text into any input text box or any search bar using Robot Framework. So before we start, let me show you what we are going to do here in this video. So I'm going to open my browser and after opening my browser, I'm going to search for google.com and here using robot framework, I'm going to search inside my Google search bar. I'm going to search Amazon and then I'm going to search for Amazon here. And uh, after searching Amazon, instead of Amazon, I'm going to search for Facebook and then press enter. So we are going to do the same process, but using robot framework. So let's begin. So first of all, I'm going to open my PyCharm here and my PyCharm is open now. I'm going to go to my projects panel and then I'm going to in create a new file inside my automation directory and I'm going to name this file as input.robot and I'm going to press enter, close my projects panel and here we are going to start write our test cases. So let's start writing our code. So first of all, I'm going to create the four sections which are required in our robot file. So what are those four sections? First section is the setting section, then comes the variable section, then comes the test cases section, and then comes the last section, which is the keyword section. So inside a setting section, I'm going to include my libraries. So my library will be Selenium library in this case. So I'm going to write library and then I'll give two tabs and then I'm going to write selenium library. So I've imported my selenium library. After that, in my variable section, I'm going to create two variables. So my first variable will be URL variable, which will be holding our URL for our test case. So in this case, I'm going to write HTTPS and then I'm going to write here www.google.com and forward slash and my second variable will be for browser. So I'm going to write browser and, and then I'm going to give the value as Chrome. And uh, then we are going to start our test cases. So in my test cases, first I'm going to give my test case a name as let's say input box and inside my input box indentation, I'm going to write my code for our test case. So let's begin writing a test case. So first I want to open my browser. So for that, I have a command called open browser. So I'm going to write open browser and then after open browser, I am going to give my URL. So I've already created a variable for URL in which google.com is stored. So now I don't want to write this whole google.com again. Instead, I'm going to write dollar and then I'm going to write my URL here. And then after giving one tab space, I'm going to write my second URL, which is the browser URL. So this will be, so what will happen here? It will open the browser, then go to the required URL, www.google.com and then it will be open into which browser? It will be open into Chrome browser. Then I'm going to maximize my window. So for that, I'm going to write maximize browser window. And so then after that, I'm going to wait for, let's say around two seconds. So I'm for that, I'm going to write sleep, then one tab and then two. So what will happen? This will wait for two seconds. And after two seconds, I want to input my text into my Google search bar. So for that, I need to open my Google Chrome here. I'm going to search for Google. So it will somewhat look like this. So after opening my google.com, I need to search inside the search bar. So to write inside our input text box, I am going to right click onto this and then I'm going to click on to inspect. So after inspecting, I'm going to go here inside my crow path. So if you don't see this crow path panel here in, on your computer, then you can just simply 
right click onto your search bar and then click on to inspect here you will see this code elements you can see this code so whatever thing you inspect that particular thing will be highlighted here with this blue outline so what you need to do is simply you need to right click on to it and then you need to go to copy and then you need to click on to this copy x path so what are these x path x full x path style js path selector all of these things are called locator so basically what locator does is it locates that particular element that you have inspected and then it is going to interact with it so in this case we are going to use xpath locator so you can copy the xpath from here or if you have crowpath visible on your computer then you can directly go to crowpath and then you can directly click on to the relative xpath i have copied this relative xpath and then i am going to go to my pycharm and after my sleep i am going to write input text and then i am going to tell pycharm which locator i am using so i am in this case i am using xpath so i am going to write x path and then i'll give colon and then i'm going to paste the x path that i copied so what will happen here it will target this particular text box so now i need to write amazon onto this text box so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to my pycharm and after my x path i'm going to give two tabs and after giving two tabs i'm going to write what i want to search so here in this case i want to search amazon so i'm going to write amazon so what it will do is it will input the text inside this particular search bar and inside this particular search bar it will search for amazon now after searching for amazon i want my search button to be clicked so this search this particular search button so i am going to right click on to this search button and then i am going to inspect this search button here as you can see here input class value google search so what i am so this particular thing is highlighted so what i am going to do is i am going to copy the relative x path for this particular button here or you can right click on to this you can copy and then copy x path from here then i'm going to go to my pycharm and then i'm going to write my next command for clicking on to the button google search for that i need to write my next command which is click button this click button and then i'm going to give my locator which is my x path in this case so i'm going to write x path and then i'm going to give a colon and then i'm going to paste the x path which i copied so basically what it will do is till now we have opened the browser we have searched the url google.com inside our chrome browser and then i have maximized my browser window then i waited for 2 seconds then i inputted the text onto our google search bar and then we clicked search button so now let's check if my code is working properly or not so i'm going to go to my terminal and then i'm going to first call my robot framework so for that i'm going to write robot and then space and then my directory name which is automation and then backslash and then my name of the file so my name of the file is input dot robot then i'm going to press enter see it maximized the window it waited for 2 seconds and then searched amazon and then clicked on to that search button so my code is working fine till now now next what i am going to do is i am going to clear this particular value this particular amazon value which is inside this text box here so what i am going to do is i am going to close this browser window and then i'm going to go to my chrome which i was working so if i search for amazon here i need this particular input text x path so for that i'm going to right click onto this particular search bar and then i'm going to go to inspect 
inside my inspect panel this particular thing is highlighted i'm going to go to my crow path and then i'm going to copy this relative x path if you don't see this crow path i already told you right click onto this then copy and then copy this x path here then i'm going to go to my pycharm here and inside my pycharm i'm going to give my next command as i'm going to write clear element text then i'm going to give my locator which is x path in this case case i'm you i'm using x path and then colon and then i'm going to paste the x path where i want to clear that input and then i'm going to wait for 2 seconds again so i'm going to sleep for 2 seconds and then i'm going to press enter and then i'm going to search facebook on that in that particular input box so for that i need to write input text and then i'm going to write x path so since i have already copied that particular input text box x path i'm going to just paste it here and then i'm going to press this button this search button here to press this search button what i'm going to do is i'm going to right click onto this and then i'm going to click on to inspect so it highlighted this particular field now we don't want this particular field x path why we don't want this particular field x path this will be a wrong x path because as you can see here watch very carefully this particular code is written inside this particular code as you can see this particular code this says svg focusable false so what is this svg svg is the format of the image so what what image we are dealing with here this magnified image here so this icons format is svg we don't want this image so if you hover on svg you will be able to see it tells us svg 24 by 24 which is the image not the button or the link so actually what we did is we right clicked on to this and then we clicked on to inspect but it inspected the image which is above the link but not the link this is the button but this magnifier is the image which is placed on the button so we need to copy the button's x path not the image x path so i am going to copy this button's x path not this image because if you see carefully if i open and close this button here as you can see this svg comes under this button so we need this button's x path not this svg's x path if we give the x path for this particular image then it will give us an error and our test case will be failed but we want this particular button's x path not the images x path that is why i am going to right click on to this button and then i am going to copy my x path or i can directly go to my crow path and then i am going to copy the relative x path for this button so i am going to copy this x path and then i am going to go to my pycharm and inside my pycharm i am going to write click button and then i am going to give the x path for that button button and then i am going to paste the x path now our code is completed so what we did is first we imported our library which is the selenium library in this case and then we created two variables one for the url www.google.com and another for the browser chrome and then we uh, started writing our test case so our name of our test case is input input box inside that we have written our test case so what we did is we opened the browser we searched for google inside a chrome browser then we maximized our browser window then we waited for 2 seconds and after waiting for 2 seconds we gave the input as amazon inside our text box and then we searched for amazon after searching for amazon we cleared the text and then we waited for 2 seconds and then after waiting we inputted our text wait i have not given the any input i have just given the x path for that but i have not given the input so i am going to give the input right now i am going to press 
tab two times and then I'm going to write Facebook here. So what will happen here when I input the text on that particular search bar, I'm going to give this Facebook as the input and then I have clicked my button right here. So now let's run this code in our terminal and check if my code is working or not. I'm going to press enter and then let's see it maximized the window. It waited for two seconds. It searched for Amazon and then it cleared the input text box and then it searched for Facebook. So our code is working properly. Now if I close it, you can see here pass and pass. It gave me the log files and the output file and the report file. So if I open it in my browser, Chrome, you can see here, test is passed. All my commands are passed. If I go to report, you can see our test is passed. So this is how you can input a text in any text box using robot framework. This is our code. Now if I see my code here, you will be able to see that we searched for Amazon and Facebook. Now our code is ready. You, you can search anything on that. Instead of Amazon, you can search for any other site. Let's search for Bing. And instead of Facebook, let's search for Flipkart. And again, let's run our code. I'm going to go to my terminal and then I'm going to give my command. Let's check it once. Maximized and it searched for Bing and it cleared the browser and it cleared the input text and then it searched for Flipkart. So our code is working fine. So this is how you can input any text into your input text box using robot framework. So this is all about this video guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you like the video and if you like it then tell us in the comment section below. If you have any doubts, then post them in the comment section. I will definitely try to clear those doubts. Also, like, share and subscribe to our channel Coders Arcade and press the bell icon so that you will get a notification when we post our new video. Thank you. Happy learning.